DJ Fanny Pack, aka T Roy the Country Boy, and you are watching Behind the Scenes, Behind the Lyrics. I take this rap shit really, really seriously. I've been rapping since 1995. These rappers out here got a lot of word salad, a lot of words mumbled up, no substance, just salad. It tastes good, it's good for the game, but it don't really do nothing. When you hear me rhyme, there's a meaning behind every single word that I say. And with this particular song, Pass the Mac, I heard Colin Shots and Z1 Letter, I heard their verses, and I was like, I gotta get on there, because I like it. Kentucky talent music, man. I fuck with them dudes. They motivate me to write, so I'm gonna keep doing it. So, um, let's break down these lyrics, and I'll start with the first one. Don't forget your fanny pack! I was in Lebanon at Dirt Bowl when I seen that bloody dread. I was in Lebanon, Kentucky, the United States of America, in 1992 or three. First time I ever seen a dead body. Me and my buddy Paige, we went to a Dirt Bowl in Lebanon. Something happened and we walked over a dead body. Seen the bloody dread. I mean, like, seen the bloody dread. He was laying on the ground. The tournament was shut down. And he was on that bumble clot. clot. So he put two in his head. He was on that bumble clot. There's a lot of different meanings for bumble clot. I heard a lot of shatas that move. You bumble clot for bumble clot. I say that bumble clot goes back to slave origin too whenever the slaves were going during their menstrual period and they were figuring out a way to discard the blood they would use these towels the, the bloody towels so when the slave masters or the people would come by and be like clean up your bumble clots clean up your bumble clots and then they started to be a, de a derogatory statement so that's evolved into what bumble clot it could be anything bumble clots can be oh that's bumble clot nice or that's bumble clot bad or it's just like it's just an adjective uh, he was on that bumble clot so wink put two in his head there was two girls in camelsville kentucky wink and Veronica Duca, the baddest chicks in the early 90s in Campbellsville, Kentucky. Veronica Duca, you might know her. I think she was Miss Kentucky at one time, but she knew how to code switch, so she would be able to come to the hood and stuff like that. But Wink, she was hood. She was on the row. If you ever know anything about Campbellsville, you go down to the row, you would see Wink. You wouldn't see Veronica Duca on the row all the time. She'd go down there, but you'd see Wink on the row. You'd see Wink at the parties at the armory in Campbellsville. I needed to use a name about shooting somebody in the head, so I just used Wink. He was on that bumble clot. So Wink put two in his head. Klansman mad at me cause his daughter chews my bubble gum. Klansman's mad at me cause his daughter chews my bubble gum. That's pretty self-explanatory. So I grew up with white people all in Kentucky and I grew up dating white girls and black girls. But there's this one generation of these redneck old ass old white dudes that think for some reason that white people are better than black people and they don't like to see their daughters dating that way. I'll tell you a story where I got this lyric from. I was a sophomore in high school and I was really good friends with Angie Woosley, Angie Coven now. Shouts out to Angie and Jim, great couple. I love them. They're great people in Hardin County. Um, but me and Angie were just friends. And Angie um, was walking around wearing my letterman jacket and the assistant principal at the time, Mr. Earl, called both of us into the office and said, we don't approve an interracial dating here at West Harden. He called us in the principal's office and told us that. So, fuck you. <laughs> For real. Fuck you. There's a lot of beautiful mixed kids out there that would beg to differ than your ideology. We can't get rid of these old racist ass motherfuckers soon enough. Cracker ass cracker nigga won't see me one on one. Because those cracker ass cracker niggas they won't see me one on one. Klansman is mad at me because his daughter's chewing my bubble gum. Cracker ass cracker, he won't see me one on one. Cop the power pack and broke it down to Nixon Dove. Cop the power pack and broke it down to Nixon Dove. Uh, at one point in my life, when I first moved to Northern Kentucky, I had access to a lot of compressed, you know, that compressed Mexican weed. It's the early 2000s, people. It was coming into the United States by the bucket. Mexican truckload. You have to tear it apart, take the seeds out of it, and put it in orange peels to fluff it up. Real talk, anybody who knows about this error, I'd be able to walk inside this stash box, open up a freezer, and the freezer was stuffed to the gills with this shit. Reach in, grab a handful, stick it in the bag, handful, stick it in the bag, handful, stick it in the bag, because I'm smart. I'd go roll it up into nickel and dime bags and dub bags, 10s, 20s, and 30s. Most college students, they weren't they weren't trying to buy no ounces or anything like that, so I just hit them upside the heads with nickel bags and dime bags quarterback rolled a hundred blunts and passed them around around the club you rolled a hundred blunts one time i did rolled a hundred blunts walked into club claw and just was passing out blunts on everybody's table and we puff puff pass <laughs> we'd be puff puff passing in the back of club claw uh one of the managers would come back and he'd be like god damn it god damn it t-roy you need to quit poking that weed back here and he grabbed the blunt i'm telling you y'all need to put this weed out and quit smoking i'm tired of y'all smoking weed in the club 
get me in trouble all the time. Why don't y'all buy some more bottles and, and hand the blunt back to us? And we just be laughing our asses off. Rolled a hundred blunts and puff puff half around the club. You vanilla ice cream soft. You vanilla ice cream soft. The long he haul. You belong on he haul. That show he haul. I searched the world over and thought I found true love. You met another and you were gone. Remember that song? You belong on he haul. You you. Vanilla ice cream sauce. You belong on hee haw. Who wanna score up with your ball? Who wanna score up with your ball? I'm trying to impregnate her jaw. I'm trying to impregnate her jaw. I'm gonna shoot her jaw club up. She's like if there's a club in her jaw, I'm gonna shoot it up. Now, I've been telling her about birds and bees since he's been in sixth grade, and I tell all my boys this. I'm like, you can't get her mouth pregnant. <laughs> Making deals like Monty Hall. Making deals like Monty Hall. Monty Hall was the original let's make a deal guy. Or Wayne Brady, I might have to smack a bitch or a minimum mack a bitch. Or Wayne Brady, who is the new host for Let's Make a Deal. Is Wayne Brady gonna have to choke a bitch? Remember when that in that Dave Chappelle scene? At least mack a bitch. Making deals like Monty Hall or Wayne Brady, I might have to smack a bitch or at minimum. Man, I ain't gonna smack the bitch. But at minimum, I'll mack the bitch. Get it? I'll take the thick hate throwing country girl. You can have them actresses. I'll take. A thick hay throwing country girl. You can have them actresses. That's hard to get out. I take the thick hay throwing country girl. You say that. I take the thick hay throwing country girl. You can have them actresses. I take the thick ho That's pretty hard to say. I'll take a thick. I mean, that's on God. I would rather have a chick who's out there sweating, throwing hay bale in some cowboy boots and dukes and some tight ass jeans and flannel shirt tied up. Ooh. I'd rather have that than some skinny model. I like country girls. Comfortable and barefoot than comfortable in heels. I like me a farm girl. I like me a girl who likes who knows her way around the farm. That's on God. I'm him, you whack him seeds and nothing but John the Baptist is. I'm him. In this rap game right now, I'm him. I can make my own beats. I can record my own music. I can make my own, write my own lyrics, arrange them, spit them, mix it, make a video, do my behind the scenes, create my own videos. I'm fucking him. All these whack MCs that came before me are John the Baptist's. Damn, that's bars. John the Baptist, if you read the Bible, John the Baptist was the guy who baptized Jesus. But John the Baptist would say, I'm not him. I come before him. All you MCs, you whack MCs, Y'all are John the Baptists. I'm him. There's somebody coming greater than me, and I'm him. <laughs> Commonwealth boy in Kentucky with Pastor Mac and stack of chips. Get your fanny pack. So at the end, I was trying to figure out, like in the Commonwealth of Kentucky, we pass the max and we stack our chips. This has been fun. Behind the scenes, behind the lyrics with DJ Fanny Pack, AKA T Roy the Country Boy. Hey, you see my swag? You see my swag? See my swag? Hey, ain't shit changed, Pimp City Ho. Thank you for choosing Kentucky Talent.